Hello everyone and welcome back to Force Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We are once again at the Jewel window as you can see here. And so we are going to attempt to send a Kerbal to Tylo. Now sending a probe to Tylo didn't work out so well last time. However, if I hadn't aborted the landing, I think the probe could have landed safely. Uh, we wasted a lot of fuel trying that particular maneuver because we were going long and wouldn't have been able to land at the monument. But yeah, I think overall the setup was fine. It was just uh, the execution, if you will, that left a lot to be desired. Uh, so this time we are going to go with overwhelming power. I really want to build a full Apollo Saturn V thing and send the Kerbal to Tylo like that. So actually we're not going to go to the VAB just yet. We are going to go to... Actually, I'm interested in the fact that I kept my rocket from the previous session. I did restart the game and everything, and it actually came up with that rocket. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are going to go to research and development and see if we can unlock engines appropriate for a Saturn V to Tylo. Because really, actually landing on Tylo is the best use of a Saturn V in Kerbal Space Program 2 stock system. So there is the Mammoth 2, which is sort of like an F1 engine, but to be honest, what I'm really looking for uh, to see whether we've got is not the Vector. I'm surprised the Vector is sooner than some of the other things. Maybe we don't have the... There was a J2 equivalent engine, I seem to recall. But maybe that was only in KSP-1 and not in KSP-2. These are the 5 meter tanks up here. Right now we have 6,512 science. I feel like... Well, well, we'll want these tanks, but I feel like the Mammoth 2 might be a little bit too big for what we're going to be able to wield as far as tankage is concerned. But yeah, let's just research that. The Labradoodle is sort of like a four-engine version of the J2 stage, I guess. Now, once we get into this tier, even 4,700 science isn't exactly uh, a huge amount. Now, let me go to the VAB and start building, then we'll see. We don't have the service module propulsion engine style engine like we do in KSP-1. So what can we cluster like J2s? The vector will be pushing it. That's a little bit bigger than what I wanted. Let's just work from the top down. And then decide what we need to unlock. So, obviously the gumball. That's got to be our Apollo command module. And should we use a terrier here? It's a decent amount of Delta V. Actually, that's almost the Delta V that the real service module would have had. Uh, though, on the nose, it would be able to dock with the lander, of course. Do we need that capability? The ability of this to dock with the lander? And if we have the docking port up there, then it's got to be a little bit less convenient. Maybe we should... I don't know, how pure uh, Apollo Saturn V do I want this to be and how much do we want to deviate? Well, I guess we'll have the bottle rocket. Uh, do I need to put a separate decoupler? Probably safer that way. I don't think we've unlocked fuel cells, is that right? Well, we could have an antenna on the service module, that's definitely a thing. And I think we'll still have solar panels. I, don't, I haven't unlocked the fuel cells anyway. And we should have RCS thrusters. Curved surface panels would be nice. 0. 0.12 tons of mod propellant. That's lots. But if we wanted to put extra. So this is to bring us into orbit around Tylo and bring us home. Is the idea. So that's its job. And it'll dock to the lander, bring the lander into Tylo orbit hopefully, and then be able to bring us back home. That's asking a lot. We might use the 
J2-ish stage, the S4B stage, in order to do the getting into orbit part. But anyway, let's see. We'll use another stack separator between this and the lander, just for convenience. And we'll call this a um, dual space... Uh, what would be the equivalent of Apollo? Kerpalo? I'm sure people have used Kerpalo. We'll go with Kerpalo, anyway. Kerpalo. Okay, let's design the lander separately. But we don't really have a sub-assembly system around here. We do have a merge, though. Well, if I want to stick to Apollo, we would be landing two people, but I'm not going there. We're just going to land one. After all, the moon is much nicer than Tylo is. The moon has a lower orbital velocity around it. Tylo has 2,000, the moon has 1,600. And Tylo has five times the gravity, 0.8 Gs compared to the moon's 0.16. So basically, uh, NASA is thankful that they were just de dealing with the moon uh, and not Tylo. They are leaving Tylo to us, definitely. So let's make sure that we're going to be looking at... Uh, well, I would like as not tall a lander as possible. So maybe we should strap the fuel to the side of this. Now we will go with Tylo thrust weight ratio, and this has got to be the ascent bit trying to get back into orbit, but that's still not enough to get into orbit, and that's not enough thrust to weight ratio to get to orbit. So, Terrier 2543. That's really big, that Terrier, and I want the lander to not be so tall. Well, that's 2,328, but that means the Terrier had more. It's just that this is more compact. We're gonna end up with a very tall lander, aren't we? I mean, we could tuck this in, but that could cause problems all on its own. Technically, for the Apollo ascent module, the engine was tucked in, so... This is actually more powerful than the engine from the ascent module of Apollo, but that's because we're dealing with Tylo gravity, so we have to. Now, there's the question of whether our descent stage should be dumped and we just put the landing legs here, or maybe we should just do that. Well, surely, if this can't land on Tylo, nothing can. <laughs> uh, well, well, we'll need some legs. But, um... Well, the thrust weight ratio is a little bit iffy. Maybe we should have supplementary sparks on the side, too. Hmm, there could be tippiness in this situation, though. Well, it looks stable-ish. But 3,172 meters per second. That's to do the final touchdown on Tylo, and then lift off and get into orbit around Tylo. And 1.08 thrust weight ratio there. Hmm. Again, I want 1.875 meter parts because that'd be better than this tank right here. Could do this deal. If I have only two spark engines, it's gonna look awkward. If uh, we need to put them at a 45 degree angle, so that we can tuck just two here. All right, now what do we have? Well, we have to get everything on the same stage. 1.45, that's with respect to Kerbin, though. 1.61 with respect to Tylo. 7 tons. 2 minute, 25 second burn time. 3,318 meters per second. Well, just out of morbid curiosity, what does that this thing would be good for a round trip. Uh, how much does it think to get into orbit around Tylo? See, landing and getting into orbit around Tylo, it says 2,270. That's so wrong. <laughs> That's so wrong. How much power do we have in here? 50 units. 
I'm just gonna add some solar panels to the top of it. Uh, I mean, really, we're at jewel, so they're not gonna be super helpful. And then definitely a ladder, because the jetpacks absolutely will not work. Is 3,300 enough, though? That's just for as uh, the final bit of descent and then ascent. And we're going to have to cut down on how much of the descent it is. <laughs> we're going to need a poodle. I mean, the terrier is already there. So just by logic. But even this isn't enough Delta V. 2,000. We need 3,000, maybe 3,200 for descent. We do have the nerve, but that's not really Saturn V. This is going beyond Saturn V to some extent, though. Hmm. How much is this? Nine tons? Yeah. We could have six of them like that. Let me just get rid of this, <laughs> just so it remembers that this is supposed to be the craft. Will that sit in the footprint of the large tanks? We really need the 5 meter tanks, I feel like, to make this look right. Maybe this will be more of a not quite Saturn V version. I don't want to overwrite the original Tyler Lander. What does Merge do? Okay, Merge has, um, I don't know what it just did. Uh, let's see. Okay. We have merged. So we would have the tapered portion of the fairing there. Oh, do we have the 3.75 meter fairing? No, we don't. <laughs> no, we do not. We only have this one. Well, we could probably extend this outward, though. So let's say we do use the vector engines. We have one, then we're pretending that's a J2. Yeah. 2000... 621.69 thrust weight ratio. It actually worked. It actually accepted that. It's still clipping into those landing legs a bit. Okay, so let's just say there's the S4B stage. And it'll be hopefully enough to transfer us over and then capture around Tylo? Well, maybe we should reduce... We will ex expect the S2 stage to handle part of the transfer, even. We don't need that much to get into orbit around Kerbin. Now, the root part really needs to be this now. Now, these are the largest tanks we've got. Can we, in theory, get the 5 meter parts? Uh, yeah, we. in order to get the extra large tanks, we're going to need of 12,400. 12,400. Yeah. What, what ever happened? Did, did we have some... I thought we had like 8,000 from some... Oh no, that is the Tylo Monument mission. <laughs> if we could do the Tylo... We would catch 22 situation. If we could finish the Tylo Mount Monument mission, we'd have enough uh, science for the 5 meter tanks. Or well, yeah. Yeah, we would. Uh, but... We are trying to get the 5 meter tanks in order to do the Tylo mission. <laughs> Technically, I could just launch that same probe and finish it. Maybe we should launch the probe. I can't believe there's only 28 science. What's even the point? <laughs> that's even that's harder than this uh, launch with the pseudo Saturn V to Tylo. Even 200 tons on Minmus. Oh, we haven't submitted this. The atmospheric survey one. Okay, I need to sur uh, submit that. Smudgeless lenses are still crystal. Clear. Yes, there's a double reference. Okay, second dibs. Plan a flag on Paul. Well, that's a whole other story. It came from Lathe. Obtain, obtain a sample report of a strange creature on Lathe. Uh oh. Could it be the Kraken? Uh oh. Well, we better track that. Now the dual system's getting even more interesting. But, as it is, even with the 7,000 science, we can't get the 5 meter tanks. 
technically the large control core would be good for the S4B stage as the instrument unit for the Saturn V, but I'm not gonna spend 1,400 science for that. Interesting that they decided to put a comma here for the balance of science when they never put a comma otherwise. Do we have the large reaction wheel? We could put that in the place of the instrument unit. That might be more useful. 45 kilonewtons. I don't need 45, I don't think. But it is a ton. At least the reaction wheel is lighter. And then I wanted the big payload fairings, but that's pretty deep in here. We could get it though. We have enough science. It's just that I don't need anything else. <laughs> And, you know, maybe we should be working up this line. These engines might be nicer. I'm surprised they all come in the same slot. I'll, I'll get the reaction wheel first. Should we be using one of those extendable nozzle engines here? Maybe. Okay, how much delta V is that? Oh, it didn't hurt our delta V too bad to add that. It's going to be interesting to see whether it is stable or not. I think we should do an uncrewed test of this. We're just going to have to ring these guys around. Oh yeah, it's going to end up something like that. Um, but the engines, engine-wise, we're talking about putting five of these down here. 4,787 meters per second. That's surely more than what we need. That's interesting that that's that much. I don't really believe it. <laughs> I'm not sure I believe that. Uh, this... This feels like it should be more. That's only 80 tons there. How is this... I want it to be true. What are the chances this is going to be stable? I mean, we're, we've got some really tenuous connections here. Mostly with small stack decouplers. I mean, this isn't gonna look right either way. <laughs> At this point, this is not going to be great. So, main sails, how heavy is this right now? Um, 700 tons. These are probably pretty big too, yeah. If I could have, you know what, let me get rid of these tanks and just put it direct Put these directly onto that bit. Well, that's not the bottom I would like for <laughs> uh, for the Saturn V here. Uh, it'd be great if they didn't have that mount, then we could make it work out a little bit better. Maybe we should just use mainsails and s less fuel. Okay, I'm just gonna make this tank smaller. Okay, well, there it is. Let's see, let's put that back down there. Operation Overkill here. Okay, well it says we're getting off the ground with the five mainsails. Barely though. That's the launch escape system right there. Okay, we'll sort all that out later. Um, what are our settings as far as that sort of thing is concerned? Uh, we have unbreakable joints off. But there was another thing. There was another thing. I forget where they've put it. Like auto strutting. But anyway. Yeah, there is some form of auto strutting involved, I think. But let's see. Let me let's see what happens. No but nobody inside. This is gonna be an uncrewed test of the system. No, go away, Tim. Okay. Uh, we don't have a probe core, though. Okay, actually, cancel that. Not uncrewed. We'll put Tim in. <laughs> We're putting Tim in. Well, you gotta admit, that's pretty incredible that it's still- that's actually standing. Okay, so just to uh, low curb and orbit, we're gonna test it. I should probably paint it white and black instead. Okay. That's a very Saturn V launch. So that's satisfying. 
it's so not reading the Delta V on the stage, right? I mean, come on, it's three fifths done of the propellant, and it says we use 500 only. That's totally wrong. So that's a good reason to test it, because the Delta V reading was definitely not right. I think I might have turned a little bit too quickly, considering everything. This has a lot of drag. Maybe I should just close the top nodes over here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Your vectors, you can steer. Okay, maybe we can get rid of the launch escape system somehow. Well, good enough. There's still the stack separator stuck there. It's totally confused by the way the tanks are slapped on like this. As long as the tanks are in line, it's fine, but if you just slap stuff on, it's... It's too much for it. Technically, it's very Saturn V-ish. Because we've got to finish orbit on the S4B stage. Well, that, that little stack decoupler blew up, which is fine. Problem is, I don't think... I was hoping to use the S4B stage for a little bit more than the transfer to Jewel. Uh-oh. The reaction wheel here is too hot. Well, we'll have to coast. So, could this transfer us to Jewel? Yeah, probably. But then after that, the whole business of getting to Tylo and low Tylo orbit using the service module here is going to be a little bit difficult. I mean, and then the lander has to be carried by it. So I was hoping that this stage would help us with that part too, actually. And right now it doesn't have enough Delta V for that. Hmm. Maybe we should switch to... Let, maybe we should get the extendable nozzle ones. Let's see. Uh, but we'll bring Tim C back down. Okay, well, what are we staging when? The ladder can stay stuck to the S4B stage. We want to stage our Apollo craft. Let's see if that works. Well, sort of. I think it sort of got these panels stuck to it. Typical. And as typical, I'm doing the time warp sidestep with it. Oh, we're in the atmosphere. We need to dump everything. Oh, time warping. Okay. I thought we were going to be coming down in daylight, but apparently not. Well, there's daylight. Okay, RCS off, please. Okay, well, that was a quick pass through the atmosphere there. Not much flame effect at all for this little guy. Okay, parachutes, please. Hopefully three will be enough. Suddenly it needs anti-aliasing. Well, three of these is better than the big parachute on top. Still not down to the 6 meter per second standard, but... Okay, it is recoverable. We recover. 